Hey, what's up YouTube? How's it going? Uh, Russ Navarro here, Radical Custom Garage. Um, working on a uh, Model A frame, kind of jumping around a little bit. Uh, you'll see in some first part of the video uh, where me and my wife, I had her, uh, had to get her help to put the frame on the uh, stands and things uh, I'm not thinking clearly tonight it's been quite a long day um, but I just kind of wanted to share you uh, share with you guys this evening uh, like I said I'll probably jump around uh, depending on how I feel I may go in and edit this video and try to get it out tonight uh, I was gonna save it for in the later part of the week uh, but I don't know how much time I'll have to, to do that so I'll see what I can do and maybe get it out to you guys. Um, this is part of the Rat Rod project. Um, I'm working on the frame, stripping the frame down. You'll see in the beginning of the video, uh, me and my wife carrying it in, putting it on saw horses. Uh, you know, uh, getting older, I'm not as agile or as strong as I used to be, and it. it it's starting to catch up with me, I think. Uh, it's been one of them uh, deals that uh, I'm having to get used to it. Uh, you know, I've got cranes and uh, a jib crane here that I could use and, and that, but, you know, we had to get it off the trailer. Uh, you seen in the first uh, video, on, uh, I believe it was Saturday or Sunday when I put it out, um, where we went and got the stuff and that. And that's one thing I wanted to talk to you guys, and I'm going to make it short and sweet, and then we'll go on into the video. Uh, when you're doing these projects and things, you have to understand um, getting the parts, finding the parts, uh, you know, building uh, different things. You're going to have challenges. You're going to have things happen. Um, the main thing, the, the only thing I really want to stress is is try to be as safe as possible. Um, you know, I've been grinding and I've been uh, cutting on different things. Uh, you know, you've seen me uh, use the uh, Harbor Freight tool, uh, sanding it down and things, and just be aware that that stuff will sling dirt, it'll sling uh, toxic stuff at you, you know, it protect your ears, um, you know, and we're all uh, getting older and that and your hearing your eyesight and that even if you're young you need to protect all that stuff I know it sounds like a commercial for for a safety uh, deal at a plant but I'm just saying uh, you only get two hands you only get two eyes and just kind of watch you know take care of yourself um, I've noticed that as I got older uh, I'm not as strong, you know, I, I have aches and pains, and if you're a young guy, don't think that you can walk over there and pick that transmission up. I used to do it all the time by myself. Get some help, and that's all I'm saying, um, short and sweet. Uh, enjoy the video. Um, you know, like I said, I want to jump around a little, sorry about that, um, but yeah, and thanks for watching my videos. Subscribe, and don't forget to hit the like button, and we'll get started. I want to go this way. It's a button on my shoulders. Is cool. That's it, right there. Thank you. I know, I hurt my neck. 
Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, as you can see, I had to have the wife help me get the uh, Model A frame in the shop. I'm kind of out of breath. Um, this is going to be a fun little project. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start hacking on the frame getting the stuff off of it that I want and uh, I'll probably just go ahead and just start doing it and we'll see how long uh, my memory and stuff in the phone uh, I've got a lot of things on there I need to delete but anyway I'm gonna start taking the stuff off of it that uh, needs to come off uh, explain every now and then, but some of it I'll fast forward through. You guys don't uh, want to see it all, but uh, I'll explain what I'm doing and we'll just go from there. I'm gonna move you forward. And we'll just go from there. And ho hopefully you can hear me. Uh, And I'll probably start with uh, getting these off. Somebody had started cutting on them, it looks like. So I may use the air hammer, hammer the running board deals off. I've got a transmission deal here that I'm going to take off. So, uh, yeah, we'll just get started and then we'll start cleaning the frame up and go from there.
Okay, guys, don't do what I do. Um, I should have my face shield on. I felt a piece of metal go towards my eye. Uh, it's on my cheek. It kind of stings a little bit. So uh, protect them eyes, protect the hands, uh, and move on. Just don't do what I do. And Save your parts. Um, you can clean that up. It's not that bad a shape. Uh, you can sandblast them, put a coat of paint on it, put them on uh, Craigslist Marketplace. Uh, may uh, help somebody else out and help you out for your uh, rat rod project. Just a little reminder. Like I say, do not throw anything away because this stuff to somebody else is probably, go, you know, like gold to them. Uh, but, you know, you know what's good to keep. You know what's junk. So, you know, do it accordingly. Um, you know, you're, you're going to spend a lot of time doing stuff like this. And I know you think that, oh, well, somebody's not interested in it or... Um, you know, I might not get that much out of it. If you get $3 out of it, you know, it's, it's money that you can go for your project. And there's a lot of guys that's restoring these, uh, going back with a, a modern rat rod, you know, that just need running board supports or whatever. So just remember, save every little piece that you might think is junk. Uh, the muffler bracket, you, you're, of course, you're not going to save the muffler bracket or the uh, old muffler or uh, exhaust, but you know you you know what to save, you know what to uh, to keep and what not to keep. So just a reminder.
Guys, it's not too personal. This will remove the rest and stuff, and I'll just go ahead and start it now. I'll show you that.
Now, I show you the frame, I take the other side, I show you where the light, and it's a little bit of a huge line. Perfect tool, um, and it's a center. Okay, this is the third side now. This is what, you know, take everything off, um, I can see, you know, I'm going to use some, uh, well, over here, um, so, please, I'll just stop there. Uh, the wall is good, I'm going to put it here, and I'll take the other side, and show you this is what, that's how you look like, uh, you know, I'm going to take the other side, and I'll get it off, all the, all the way down there, and I'll get it on. But overall, that is, uh, what I'm going to do is it's helpful right here, and I'm going to like it, get it off, I'm going to take the other side, and I'll get it off, 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 and I'll get Okay, guys, I kind of wanted to show you um, earlier. This Here's the frame after I've uh, sanded it down. Um, getting ready to fill these spots in with a welder and stuff. I put a brace here, welded it in, got my measurements from this uh, these holes to the front of this. I am going to replace this with a one-inch drop. Um, I'll probably get a four inch drop. So like I said earlier, it'd probably drop at a total of five inches. I've got uh, box pieces to help box this in. I was gonna make them myself, but they make a kit that you can buy and uh, you know, I'll box all this in. Um, I wanna kinda show you something. Uh, this hole and stuff here I'm gonna fill in. Uh, but I want to show you what I did and we'll just go from there I uh, got these holes off of the bracket that I pulled off back here that's why I said don't throw nothing away this bracket was back in here like so and it held the old clutch pedal and stuff I believe is what it was for I'm not real sure but if y'all notice this part here will fit that hole almost perfect so I can take this use this for a pattern for a plug for this hole and not you know mess around and worry you know what how am I gonna plug it what have you Turn and that's why I said save all your brackets and things, you know, they, uh, they can come in handy, they can come in as a guide, um, you know, just overall uh, think about, you know, the process of uh, when you're doing something like that, and, and this is all new to me too, you know, I've done a rat rod in the past or started one and uh, I never finished, you know, I'd had a buddy build the frame for me. Uh, because I, I thought at that time, you know, I was 20 years old and I had no clue on, you know, measuring everything. And I, I, at that time, we did have YouTube to where you could research. I've researched a lot of things and that's what I suggest you do if you want to build a rat rod project or a Model T, anything. Just do something that you enjoy. Uh, get uh, kids involved just you know if you can do it as a father son or a father daughter it's great uh, I enjoy coming out here you know like I said I get one day a week off and um, you know it kind of sorry about that guys phone cut off a uh, lot of uh, data and stuff I need to clear out but overall you know do what you can do um, you know, if you feel you can do it, great. If not, you know, hire the stuff that that you can't do. Uh, but, you know, do a project and kind of enjoy it and enjoy doing, or I enjoy doing things like this. And uh, don't be afraid to try something. Uh, that's the main thing. I think that's all for this video. Um, you know, I'll give you more updates on the frame and that hopefully I'll have a lot of this welded up to where I can show you and then the other side I may spend a little time showing you what I did but I don't think you guys really uh, want to sit and watch a video of me welding up holes and patching things and uh, when I come to the box scene in the front end I'm definitely gonna bring you guys along but that's all I have for you today like share comment don't forget to hit the subscribe button I'm still trying for uh, a thousand uh, and hopefully this project will put me over uh, you know I'd like to do some swag and things but right now I just don't have the time and uh, 
really uh, nobody to help me through that part of it. So, uh, yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. And have a blessed week, and God bless, and we'll see you.